here is a piece of pipe. It is six feet long and it is an inch and a half. It is hot dip galvanized. It's nice and smooth except where the rust is. And the rust is from it laying on the ground. This six foot pipe will be put on the top of the Rhone Tower. And this is the very top of the Rhone Tower. And there's the base at the inside the tower. And that is where I'll screw on a plate to hold the base of the pole and the top will be screwed down fastened to the pole and I have a Zuri wind and solar permanent magnet generator PMG 2000 watt 48 volt 96 volt dual that I'll be putting on this tower so it's a tapered tower it's a BX 56 56 foot tower. It's a standalone tower. These legs are supposed to go into the concrete. Anchor in the concrete, but I'm going to try to make a tilting platform for it. As you can see, it's a Rowan tower and it's hot dip galvanized. And this galvanized surface is very smooth. It's a very nice job. This is an old tower. The paperwork says 1977. That's when it was designed. The guy had it, got it from, he had it in his uh, crawl space under his house for, I think he said 10, 15 years. So it's a pretty old tower. He got it from a guy that had it for a while. So I'm the third owner. This is one section. This is a eight foot section. At the top, it's the smallest of them. And the top piece there, that is the biggest and heaviest piece. And that'll be the base. Those legs bolt onto the, you can see the bolt holes there grade 8 hardened bolts, but I'm going to try to make it a tilt tower. As I say, these are all 8 foot sections. They keep tapering smaller and smaller, and it's, and it's very good quality hot dip galvanized. This, this is very smooth, it's very, very well done. So. That's the tower I will be using for my wind generator.